All right, y'all. So we back talking about some VV and Ecomi. Now, listen, this is not to bash VV and Ecomi or nothing like that. It's just to share some perspective and put you all on game. Now, I will start off by saying, yo, join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Come join the team. Join the network. We're trying to get a group of people together who's serious about getting rich using this bull run. Like, that's that's what that's the goal. That's That's the objective. That's what we're all going for. I've been talking to a lot of mentors, a lot of people giving me game. It's so much information, so much I'm invested in, so many moves that I've been making. I got my friends making them and things like that. Now, I can't have any of you all make any moves because, hey, I'm not a financial advisor. We don't do that. All I can do is tell y'all what I'm doing, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be giving away free sauce and free game. Well, not really free since I'm only going to go hard on the Patreon. So, technically, it's not free, but, hey, it is what it is. Like, it's time. It is time. And... This video, I really want to focus in on, I want to focus in on one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems that I, I see when it comes down to, to Vivi. People tell me all the time, like, so I, I saw this, this little post right here. Let me show y'all. Um, and Sergio, shout out to Sergio, man. He basically made a post saying that, yo, if I had to choose between Vivi's um, Wolverine and, um, and Fortnite's, Bro, VV's look better. V VV's looks better. And shout out to VV. I mean, they're doing a better job now as you can say that something is looking better than Fortnite because for a long time, it's not even close. Now, I, I haven't really done too much even looking at it. Like, I, I don't I don't care. I, I care that little about VV at this point in time, to be completely honest. And it's not that I don't care about VV. I still have investments and holdings in VV. Is that I know all the other opportunities that's out there and I'm much more focused on those because it's not a gamble. It's not a risk or it's not as big of a risk as Vivi. It's just like weighing the pros and cons. It's so much other stuff that's not because the fact of the matter is what Vivi is trying to build. There's things that you can invest in so that if Vivi succeeds, if one of their competitors succeeds or it don't matter who succeed, you can still win. So you can invest in what Vivi is going to need to succeed. So why am I invested in Vivi when I when I can go deeper, learn what Vivi is going to need in the future, what Vivi don't even know that they need? I can invest in that right now. So then when Vivi needs it, I'm already a holder. And now because Vivi jumps on board, it blows up. Now because Fortnite jumps on board, it blows up. Like, that that's where we at with it now. We're trying to play the game on another level. We're trying to play the game on a completely different level unlike ever before. Like, with the VV project, that was my introduction into the space for real. Like, I was able to turn 3K into 200K. I, you know, I, I took home, I, I pocketed a little bit less than that because obviously I didn't sell at all-time highs, but <laughs> I was nowhere near 3K, I'll tell you that. But that being said, what you have to understand is that, well, let's start with what I said. I said the biggest problem, however, is V with VV, you can sit there and look at it while Fortnite, you can play games in an entire world with millions of other people. Then the response was like, oh, Cavell, he don't understand that this is a collector's app. People are just here for collecting and things like that. Listen, everything on the blockchain is is, is collectable. You, you, it's able to be collected. Anything, any NFT that gets put on this blockchain is able to be collected. But what do... What you have to understand is that the landscape of collecting is going to change. This is what I believe. And I am not a collector, but I am just a guy with common sense. With a comic book, all you can do is read it. Like, you can't get much more utility than that in the real world. You buy a comic book in the real world, what you gonna do? Roll it up a little bit and slap each other in the head? Give that, give that, that's, that's another form of utility for it. It's like, what can you do outside of read it? So no, an action figure. What can you do with an action figure? You can hold it in your hand and and what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? It's no utility for it. So the real world collectibles became valuable because they were just old, gave you nostalgic feelings and things like that. And that was enough. That was enough. That's that's this is what collecting is built on. Pokemon cards. Like, hey, they actually had a utility that you could play a game with them, but th this that was enough. We are moving towards the future. Vivi is built on futuristic technology, which means that they have to respect the future that we're moving towards. If you want people to collect your things, you have to, to have something worth being collected. So you all think in terms of this came first, that came first. To be fair, certain pieces, 
because it came first is going to be valuable. Certain pieces are, but VV has so much crap released on it. Everything is not going to be a winner. Everything is not going to be a hit. And the fact that so many people are delusional enough to believe that any 99% of what's on VV at this point is probably going to be worthless. And you want to sit here and collect it just for the sake of collecting it. Just to say I'm a collector. When you could collect the same BS somewhere else and at least be able to play a game with it. And and don't get it twisted. I guess VV has goals and things like that. But this is why I say that VV is a 10-year project because they haven't even started and begun to, to you know, give these things the, the type of utility that it's going to need. But this is all about utility. People want to sit here and argue that, oh, Fortnite's a game. VV is a collector's app. I don't want to hear that because everything on Fortnite, people are collecting. People are proud of their accounts that has all these skins, all these dances and stuff like that. Everything that people buy on Fortnite, everything that people buy on Call of Duty, they are proud to be holding it. They're proud to be collecting it. They, they sit here and flex it. Oh, I got $5,000 spent on my account. My account is so, is valuable. And people will buy these accounts from people. Stop sitting out here acting like Vivi is the first to ever invent digital collecting. No, the biggest co digital collectors in human history are gamers. So you want to sit here and say, oh, Vivi is not a game. That's exactly the problem. That's exactly the problem because the fact of the matter is all the other, like when Fortnite hits the scene and all these other IP, you know, companies hit the scene and they coming out with metaverses and games and things like that, then what? VV stuff, you can just sit there and look at it. So this, this mindset that this mindset that VV is just for collectors, you got to sit there and hold because that's what we did back in the day. Your kids are not going to like that. Your grandkids are not going to like that. No one's just going to be holding shit because it's old. No, it's, it's not going to happen. No one's going to be holding something because it was the first on a blockchain. A comic book is valuable. The, the first edition comic books and stuff like that is valuable because it's been through some shit. Like it has a history associated with it. When it comes down to everything on VV, some nerd sat behind the computer, pressed a button and pressed enter. Oh, it's minted now, it's special. Come on now. And I'm not trying to downplay all the things that VV has that, that could be significant because they were the first to put it on the blockchain. But there's going to become a point in, in the, the future where just because something was minted on the blockchain first, don't make it valuable. You could, it's a lot of restaurants that came before restaurants that's still around today. Don't matter that they came before. The other restaurants did it better, did something better. That's really what it is. That, that's how this world works. And the world is not going to change because you bought some shitty things on Vivi and you need them to go up. That's not going to change the world. So I suggest that more people start to learn what this world is going to transition into and stop sitting here holding on to these bets. Like, listen, if you lost, if you're gonna lose your money, you're going to lose your money regardless. If you're gonna get some gains on VV, you're going to get those gains regardless. Why are you sitting around stressing about it? Why does it even matter? Like, you, if you in position, you're either in you're either in position to, to take it real hard, or you in position to be very happy. Either way, what are we talking about? Like, why is everybody always panicking about what's going on with VV? There are other opportunities that exist. And we can't be delusional when it comes down to what VV is not doing well. What VV is not doing well is anything outside of just dropping a bunch of collectibles, spamming a bunch of collectibles. The collectibles do nothing as it stands right now. Now, what the best part about the blockchain and the, the potential saving grace for VV's collectibles could be the association with Disney and the IP. Because what Disney could do at any point in time is unlock the interoperability feature bring them over onto the Disney platform and Disney could give these NFTs some utility. They have, I mean, they, they get paid when people buy this stuff. So they have a reason to actually add some utilities to these collectibles. So that's the best part about it. But people who sit here and pretend like that, this stuff don't need utility. I mean, you're clueless. You're definitely clueless to the space that you jumped in. You jumped in to try to get some, some quick and easy money and you don't realize what space you're in. Crypto is not just some thing that you use to make money. These are all technologies. These are all these are all things and projects that do something, that serve a purpose, that fixes a problem, solves a problem. Cryptocurrency and NFTs are so much more than what so many people believe that they are. You have to educate yourself. You have to get 
You have to deep dive this space and really learn what's out there, man. But listen, I'm not going to be giving away too much game on, on YouTube. I'm not going to be, you know, all of this is on the Patreon. If you want to join, you want you want to join, you want to get more content like this, you want to see some interviews with some other people a hell of a lot more wiser than I am. You, like you want to like I'm going to be talking to like my friend, one of my closest friends that I got invested in. He's in the tech world. He builds technology like, bro, listen, I'm going a lot of content is coming, bro. Like, that's what it is. I would just say that a lot of content is coming. You can join or you can miss it. Either way, listen, you already know how I am. Once we accomplish the things that we're setting out to, I will be giving updates and everybody's going to sit here and try to judge, talk, chat. Oh, you, you, you got lucky, blah, blah, blah. Every single step of the way, I'm going to be showing it on the Patreon. That's what it is. You can't say it was luck. You can't say that I didn't call it. You can't say that, like, people tried to discredit my VV history, all the stuff that I was calling. By the time it all started to happen, everybody knew it was going to happen. Yet when I was saying it, all those videos got, hey, VV ain't getting Marvel. VV ain't getting Disney. Are you stupid? Then suddenly after they got all that, we all knew it was coming. What? All right, bro. So, I mean, you can go that route, but at the end of the day, this time around, we're doing things a hell of a lot different because everything is gonna be documented and the bag will not lie. It's gonna be those of us who have the bag secured and those of y'all who won't. That's what it is. Now, I'm not saying that there's no bag to be secured in the VV community. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of opportunities that a lot of y'all are missing out on because you are glued to the VV community. Come on now. Stop DCAing into Omi, in my opinion. It's just my opinion, not financial advice. I wouldn't be DCAing into the Omi token. I would be DCAing into some of these other more promising projects, which you'll be able to find on the Patreon. Because, yay, your, your boy, I'm going to be telling y'all what I'm in. I, I revealed one in this video right here. I revealed one in this video right here. So, that being said, join the Patreon, watch this video. And yeah, let me know y'all thoughts though. Like we can talk about it, we can discuss it. More content is gonna be coming here on this channel, but I'm really going hard on the Patreon. That's what a majority of my content is gonna be at this point. So yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.